Good lady, please cut ties with that married dude today. You know what? That married guy may be more experienced than single man. Of course, because a single man has not lived with a woman. If you meet a guy who has lived with a woman for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, naturally speaking and generally speaking, they are better off in handling a woman than the single guy. Yes, you feel like this man understands me, only married men understand my feelings, know how to handle me, and you're right. They are more experienced. They have learned by living with another woman what a woman really wants. But don't forget this. It's another woman who has polished up that guy. Behind that refined guy you're seeing, another woman has taken the effort to refine that guy, to tune him up. And there are no shortcuts in this life. If you're looking for true happiness, there are no shortcuts. You've got to dig your own foundation right from the scratch. You've got to polish up your own man. You've got to refine your own man. You can't afford to be taking the men that are refined by other women. It is your job to build the foundation of your own house. Yes, this married guy may even be having more money because he has worked longer. Generally speaking, generally speaking, married men who, who are married for 20 years, 25 years, generally speaking, will have more money than single men simply because they have worked longer. But don't forget this. They may fuel your car, they may pay your rent, they may buy you an outfit, but they don't respect you. Ha! Ah, they don't respect you. That is not love. They are buying sex. They are doing all this to get your body, to fool you up. They don't think highly of you. A married guy who sleeps with you as a single woman or a married guy who's even if you're married, whether you're married or single, any man who comes sleeping with you and he's not your husband, he doesn't think very highly of you. You are cheating yourself. He thinks you're worth the fewer money he gave you. He thinks you're worth the rental money he gave you. He thinks you're worth the phone he gave you. He thinks that you're worth. He actually thinks you're cheap. And if you're a single lady and you're moved with, moving with married guys, guess what? Even if you get married, you will keep comparing your future husband with the way this other guy was treating you, with the way this other guy was having sex with you. And you'll be frustrated because you'll be trying to compare one man with another. And staying with a married guy, moving out with a married guy, just delays your wedding date because it keeps off potential candidates of your life. Every time you move out with married guys, it keeps away single men from approaching you. And it blocks your heart from accepting single men who may not be as polished and as refined in handling a woman like this married guy. He's not a blessing into your life. He's actually a curse. He can't spend a whole night with you. He comes to your house once a week, one or two hours. If you're lucky, he may come to your house twice a week but he can never ever sleep in your house all night because he has to go and sleep in his house with his wife you deserve your own man you deserve a man who can hold you all night long who can massage your back and your shoulders and your butts all night and stay with you smiling with you giving you stories i mean watch movies with you without panicking without having to check his phone who is after me but this guy just sees you at his own convenience and leisure. He has no time for you. You are an afterthought. You are not his main dish. You are a side dish taken if he's hungry. If he has quarreled with his wife, that's when he remembers you exist. But he cannot spend quality time with you the rest of the week. You are still cold. You are still alone. And guess what? God cannot bless such a relationship. Any relationship you have with a married guy, God cannot be party to that relationship. The Bible says in Hebrews 13, 4, marriage must be honored by all people and the marriage bed kept pure by all, both married and the singles. It has to be kept pure by all and God will judge the adulterer. Yes, God says, I will judge the adulterer, you mess up with another person's marriage 
I will mess up with your marriage. Life is a big echo. Whatever you sow, you reap. That's the word of God. Galatians 6, 7. Galatians 6, 7 says, God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. You are sowing discord and division and chaos and confusion in another woman's house. God says, you will reap what you sow. Whatever you sow in this life, boomerangs back to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Yes, God says, I will judge the adulterer. Hebrews 13, 4. How? They will report their soul. Galatians 6, 7. If you want God to bless you with your own husband, with a good marriage, with a happy marriage, you've got to honor other marriages. You've got to respect other marriages and God will honor your own marriage. He will bless you with a handsome, hardworking, God-loving man who will love you with all his heart. But that will not happen. God will not bless your marriage life if you're busy messing up with other people's marriages. Please, I'm not coming here to condemn you. I will tell you the same thing. Jesus told the woman who was messing with another man's marriage. A woman was sleeping with another woman's husband. The same thing you're doing. She was brought to Jesus and the guys wanted to stone her to death. Jesus said, I will not condemn you, but go and sin no more. Leave your life of sin. Stop sinning or something worse will happen to you, Jesus said. Stop what you're doing. Stop messing up with other people's marriages or something worse will happen to you. HIV may happen to you. Death may happen to you. Something worse may happen to you. Stop your life of sin. I didn't come here to condemn you. Jesus didn't condemn you. Jesus extended the heart of grace and I extend the same grace because I am his messenger. Stop sinning. Stop messing up with other people's marriages or something worse will happen to you. Hey, share this video with other people. Give me your comment. If you have a question, post it as a comment and I'm going to answer you. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every week. You don't want to miss out on my latest videos. I wish you the very best in your marriage life. If you hear what I have said, if you obey God's voice today, God will bless you with your own marriage. And you will thank God that I spoke to your life what the Holy Spirit had put in my heart. God bless you and may God bless you with your own man. In Jesus' name, will you receive it? <laughs> Cheers.